Celebrities and high-earning individuals are known to live an expensive lifestyle, but Rick Ross's is on an out-of-that-league level. The record label CEO owns about a hundred plus cars to his name, with just about any car you can imagine in his collection, ranging from old-school cars to supercars. An interesting fact about all this is that he recently got his driver's license in 2021. Today, we'll be giving you a ride into his garage, where he owns anything from cars to fire trucks. His first job was at a car wash when he was 13, where he worked from 8am to 8pm for $30 a day, and his first car ever was gifted to him by his grandfather. Let's now have a look at his expensive garage, where we'll be grouping his whips into tiers. The first tier we have is the God Tier, which top-level celebrities worth millions of dollars are only able to attain. Rick Ross sure fits in that list, owing to the fact that he has been in the rap game since the 90s. With his net worth of over $45 million, he can boast of being among these top-level celebrities. The second tier will be the Luxury Tier, which will have its place for sleekness and luxury in general, rather than speed, performance and all that. The third tier will be the Truck Tier, where we'll be looking at some of the trucks that the entrepreneur and rapper has acquired over the years. We'll be listing out some of the motorbikes in his garage while we're at it. His first car on this top tier list is his Lamborghini Mercalado. This supercar manufactured by the European car brand is known for its elegant design and a bridge between the old and new Lamborghini models. He reportedly bought this supercar for $486,061, which falls along the usual range for the 2010 model of the Lamborghini Mercalado. Y'all wish her a happy birthday. Y'all wish. Another car on the god tier is the Lamborghini Urus. While it's normal to be skeptical of the Urus due to its overdefined design and close similarity to the Audi Q8, the midsize SUV is one with class and luxury. It was bought at reportedly $230,000. The Urus definitely falls on the god tier list because it's one of those SUVs that cost a quarter of a million for luxury. It also delivers an impressive supercar experience for an SUV. Next, we have the Rolls-Royce Classic. Ricky Ravioli has a pair of Rolls-Royces sitting confidently in his garage. They are the Rolls-Royce Phantom and the Rolls-Royce Wraith. The Rolls-Royce Phantom, priced at $460,000, is the definition of luxury and comfort and is the only model that uses a full reverse hinge door in the world. The Phantom speaks quality and comfort, and can be customized, so it makes a statement wherever you go. As long as you have the financial backing and are a fan of luxury, you won't regret purchasing the Phantom. No wonder it's on Rick Ross's list of cars. The Rolls-Royce Wraith falls in the same class as the Phantom, and stands out as any other Rolls-Royce would. It can be seen for at least $344,000. Next up is the Bentley Continental Supersport. This supercar is one of the numerous ones that he has shown off on his Instagram page. He recently posted a pic on Instagram where he was sitting on the Continental Supersport. This sports car weighs more than some full-size SUVs, yet can outrun some other sports cars. It takes 3.4 seconds to reach 60 miles an hour, and is a 209 mile per hour coupe. It is priced at $322,600. Next, we have the Mercedes Maybach 57S, which we're sure Rick Ross is in love with, for him to have named his record label after it. As we know, his record label is called Maybach Music Group, when it was newly launched, top celebrities like Samuel L. Jackson, Kanye West and Will Smith were some of the first to cop one for themselves, making it increase the brand's long list of A-list customers. The 57S has a 6-litre engine and 0-60 to 60 
under 5 seconds. It is priced at $430,000. The Mercedes-Benz S650 Cabriolet is Maybach's first convertible car, and it hasn't only earned its name for its performance, but also luxury. It can be seen for $357,000. Well, what's a Mercedes-Benz car collection without an S-Class? He owns a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which is popular for its subtle yet captivating look. Next is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. This is a common vehicle among rappers and celebrities in general. Who knows, maybe it's because of its intimidating look and flashy design. It sold for around 160000 The Ferrari 488 Spider and 458 Italia exude confidence and are known to share some similarities with Formula 1 cars. However, that's one of its features that makes it stylish. Rick Ross doesn't fail to have the BMW Group cars in his collection. He owns the BMW 760Li, which he calls the Dirty White Thing, the SLS AMG and G63 AMG. Now we move on to the luxury tier. We have the Bentley Brooklands, which is the most spacious of all its coupe. It runs for 0 to 60 with an acceleration of 5.3 seconds. Rick Ross is also one of the many rappers that owns the Cadillac Escalade, a bold and expressive large luxury SUV. With another Mercedes-Benz on the list, we can say young Renzel might really be an ardent lover of this car company. He owns a Mercedes-Benz CLS, which is based on the design of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. However, the designers gave it a sportier look with its sleek roofline. Rick Ross also has his fair share of American cars, with the Fisker Karma and Tesla Model 3 sitting confidently in his garage. The Fisker Karma is a futuristic looking car that can constantly be seen on the streets of Hollywood. However, because it can be seen in most places, it doesn't make it any cheaper. It goes for a whopping sum of $95,700. The ride collection isn't just complete without a Tesla though, is it? Rick Ross owns a Tesla Model 3, which is an EV that boasts driving range and performance. Compared to the other models, it's not as expensive and is seen as one of the easiest ways to own a Tesla's EV. Then, coming down to the classic Americanos, Rick Ross owns a classic Chevy and multiple Chevrolet Bel Airs with production models from 1955 to 57. All his Chevys are reportedly in good condition and priced at $70,000, with all the Chevys he owns probably being priced together at $300,000. He has a custom 1971 Chevrolet Impala with a customized Gucci print top. He also has a Chevrolet El Camino 1959 which was the Chevy's first sedan pickup. The biggest boss is also a lover of race cars. He has two NASCAR cars driven by Jimmy Johnson during the late 2000s. During his first show in his multi-million dollar home in Georgia, Promised Land, he acquired a 1975 Chevy Impala from 134 Coke for $150,000 instead of the usual $60,000 that it is sold for. He also gifted him a chain to mark their successful deal. He is also a fan of the Pontiac Firebird, having a total of four in different shades. Moving on to the truck tier now, he has the Hummer H2 worth $447,411. Given Rosé's massive physique, the Hummer H2 is the ideal vehicle for him because it has a roomy cabin and a stunning boxy design appropriate for the music icon. The Chevy Behemoth, the Chevrolet Silverado, is another truck in his garage that stands tall. Its aggressive look alone makes it a good choice for truck lovers. It is reportedly priced at $375,000. Ace's High is another truck of the boss, and he once posted a video of himself 
climbing into the 1972 Chevrolet El Camino monster truck in an Instagram video. It was first owned by Jake Henke. Ross was the last person it was sold to in 2022 at $59,000. Hip hop artist Rick Ross doesn't fail to own at least a few numbers of bikes, judging by his insane car collection. The Aprilla motorbike and Suzuki Hayabusa are on this list. The Suzuki Hayabusa won the title of the world's fastest production motorcycle with a speed of 188 to 194 miles per hour. Most people would see this as a stunt, clout chasing or a waste of money on Ross's part. But you never really know what he's thinking unless he lets us in on it, right? He has once addressed people criticizing him for getting so many cars. Well, whatever the reason for his collection may be, it doesn't change the fact that he's good at what he does, and whatever rocks his boat should be fine. Let us know in the comments section below your favorite of all his luxury cars. And while you're doing that, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any more content just like this. So, have a great time everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.